Do you ever feel hopeless in terms of achieving your goal? By goal, I'm talking about anything like your career, your financial growth, maybe a business you're trying to launch and you feel like it's hopeless, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to talk about a really useful concept to keep in mind that will help you let go of that feeling of hopelessness. And that's what this video is about. This is a big issue because most of our life is about personal growth, okay? And when I talk about personal growth, it's like growth over which you have pretty much complete control. So think of something like exercise or something like learning a musical instrument or any kind of skill that you're trying to develop in isolation, okay? Even what I talk about here on this channel, which is the inner work that we do, that's kind of like personal growth. Outside of that, we enter the social sphere. And that can be trying to launch a business. That could be trying to get your career going. It could be trying to make more money, any of those things. And we can experience helplessness in, or hopelessness in both of those spheres. But if we understand the, ro the, the, the rate of growth expectation in either in both the personal and the social sphere, it makes things a lot easier. What I'm talking about is this. I want you to imagine a graph, okay? And here's your, your axis on the graph. Now this, is, this relates to your personal growth, things over which you have complete control. So let's say exercise. You've, you haven't exercised for years and you decide, okay, one day I'm going to start to exercise. I'm gonna, it's an area in my personal growth I'm gonna work on. Here's your graph and you will notice that over the first few weeks, your progress is going up very rapidly. Every time you exercise, you can do a little bit more weight, you can do a few more reps, you can, maybe you can run a little, a few minutes extra each time you're doing it. You're getting faster, you're getting fitter, your, your muscle is developing, your stamina is developing. And notice that over week after week, you see this trajectory of, wow, this is amazing, it's getting better and better and better. After a period of time though, you're getting now, you've gone past the the average mark. And now after that point, it tapers off significantly. Now you're still improving, but every improvement is marginal, okay? So the, the, the graph looks like this. It goes rapidly up and then it goes across like this. Personal growth, personal development. When you enter the social sphere, it is the, completely the other way around. And this leads into a lot of the hopelessness that we can feel, we can, we can feel when we're on this journey, okay? be that a career, a business, whatever it is you're trying to do. In the social sphere, what happens is you start off at zero. Here's your graph again. You start off at zero and your growth is tiny. And it is tiny, tiny incremental growth for a long, long time. And eventually you start to get noticed maybe and people start to see what you've done and it gradually starts to go up and up. But you get to a certain point where your growth now becomes very, very exponential. It goes up and up and up much faster. So completely different. If we bring the same expectations for growth from our personal sphere into the social sphere, we are inevitably going to feel hopeless. What I'm saying here in this video is don't give up. Don't expect dramatic things to happen for a while. Okay. And that can take a long period of time. What you have to focus on is your process is doing the inner work, fight it. Cause it's these feelings of hopelessness and helplessness that make us think, well, this isn't going anywhere when we're on this lower end of the, the graph, right? If we can do the inner work, we will not give up and eventually things start to take off for us. So it's so easy to miss this because we're intuitively, we're used to the personal trajectory, the, 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 Tra trajectory, the growth tra trajectory in the personal sphere. That's what intuitively we feel it should be like. But it isn't like that in the social sphere. So doing the work to calm down that inner critic, that again, all it ever tries to do is keep us safe, but it's very excessive. So we need to learn to calm it down. We need to feel good. We need to calm our nervous system. We need to reset the nervous system periodically so that it doesn't get overwhelmed by this. 
but we have to start kind of welcoming up this as a inevitable part of the the growth process the, the journey it's going to happen we're going to inevitably feel some kind of uh, uh, helplessness but it's very easy to let it go once you're aware of what reality is like what the expectations uh, should be in this I, I saw an interview recently from um, uh, the comedian Bill Burr he was talking about something kind of like this and he said um, he was talking about young people coming into making podcasts into that arena and there's many like gatekeepers and big organizations that will promise these young people loads and loads of things to get them started in other words to avoid this long drawn out process of growth and he says if you can at all avoid those guys because they can't really do anything for you anyway and once you do get to that point of massive growth all this, those gatekeepers or those people who are giving you that initial boost are, are just going to become problematic for you so you're as well off just hanging it out hanging out hanging in there and just enjoying that process if you can until you start to take off but um, it seems appealing to begin with because we don't like this long slow gradual uh, process for us it's the same avoid anyone that's kind of showing you shortcuts it's not supposed to be a shortcut anything worth doing in life is going to be a long journey but think about how much more satisfying it's going to be if you do hang in there and you get to the point where you start to see something that you've created you've worked on take off this is how it's supposed to be there's no problem with this okay it's okay to feel sometimes afraid sometimes dejected sometimes hopeless but learn how to quiet that inner critic do the inner work and it makes that experience much much more bearable and even enjoyable okay we start to look forward to it and see this part of the journey hope that was helpful guys and i'll talk to you again soon bye for now